So imagine we want to add a box in here so we can insert a drawing. And for this drawing, all we're going to do is add a box and make it a clear box. Put that there like that. Get a bit smaller, but I'm going to also show you how to resize. And then I'm going to add a box here for the engineer. So same thing again, insert drawing. We'll add a shape. Doesn't matter if we make it exactly the same size because we're going to resize them. And then all somebody would have to do is double click in the box, move down to scribble, click and scribble. And in here, click and scribble. There you go, that's the simplest way of doing it. Um, what you may notice is that the boxes though then come out at different sizes so what we've got is a little bit of app script we're going to move over to the app script so extensions app script our functions called move drawing and we move drawing one and drawing two which are our two signatures um, and we're going to move them to position 43 and 45 so that's 40 rows down and three columns across 40 rows down and five columns across I'll show you that there so this is row 40 this is abc that's the third column and the fifth column they should both be on row 40 but as you can see they're not quite aligned yet um so this is the sheet that the drawings are in job sheet First of all, we need to find the drawings and position them. Um, this this logger will tell us where they currently are at the moment. So if we run this, they are in rows, sorry, columns three and five. So we need to change this to rows three and five to make sure that we capture our drawings. And then when we run this, it will set the height to 56, the width to 150. And down here, what we also do is we activate cell 42. We find out what is the what is the time and date now. Um, and then it adds that in to cell 42 and it makes sure it's a value rather than the function now uh, we then format it we don't have to format it with the second so let's get rid of the seconds so we just know the hour and the minutes and the dates of course um, and this will also put the, set the date uh, underneath the the signature for the engineer so that's what we do there that is called move drawing that function but what we want to do is the assign the script. So single click, assign the script, and it was called move drawing. And if we do the same thing here, move drawing. That means when we double click, and then we scribble our second signature we automatically get our date and this one's resized and that one hasn't resized because it's moved oh no it hasn't been resized um cool so there you go that is how to add signatures and automatically add the dates thank you and um, go to bloomfieldanalysis.com slash sting to download any of their templates uh, please feel free to comment, like, subscribe, let us know what you think um, and if there's anything that you would like any help with. Thank you, cheers, bye.